welcome and uh, thank you for visiting my video and of course my channel. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for my haircut. Uh, I'm going to do something about that soon. So, anyway, let's get back get back to what we need to get to. Alright. Um, I've been, I'm, you know, have you had the, the uh, time, basically, have you sat around with somebody that watched these crazy videos on YouTube that involve, you know, earwax? Yeah, earwax. Yeah, you know, earwax video. Oh, oh gosh, go, no. Go under and get it. No. That's how you go get it. Right under there and get it. No. Get oh, it. Get gosh. It. Grab it good now. No. Grab it. No way. Look how fast he's getting it out, Jerome. No. Well, I was one of those people that happened to be around one of those people. And guess who? It was my wife. My wife liked these videos. Like watching them. I thought that was a bug there for a moment. What is That's that? That's wax. That's just wax, okay. You have wax in here. In here. Wax in here. And she likes, you know, trying to get me involved in watching them. And um, of course, I'm, I'm not feeling it at all. <laughs> it don't really be a big piece of this little. This looks big to us. I don't like that, no. man. Oh. Yucky. Oh. Oh. You got more of them? So, that got me curious. After seeing, you know, I'm just sitting there watching these videos and I'm seeing how they are just digging inside the ear, using the tinsels and everything, using all sorts of gadgets to get in the ear and everything. But then I got curious about, well, what camera they're using to actually do this with. So, you know, after watching a little while, like I said, I got curious and I decided to go and get my old endoscope. Yeah, that's the name of the camera they're using, by the way, in those videos, the endoscope. And, uh, well, I decided to go and get one, and uh, here it is. Well, folks. Here's the endoscope slash boroscope that I just bought recently. You know, due to my curiosity about the crazy videos that my wife is interested in. So, here's the deal. Got it. Got it in the mail and everything. And it came in like a little, like a, you know, like a regular, you know, package they would send, like if they come from overseas or whatever. And I opened that package and basically what you see is this. You know, I bought the 5.5 um, millimeter version, so it's kind of long. Uh, so now they're going to unleash the contents from this thing and show you what this thing is all about. So, oh, that's interesting. Got a little CD there. That's probably for the computer. All right. Taking this stuff out so we can see what we got here. Oh, okay. So, we got the scope itself. It's pretty long. I mean, let me see. Let's see how long this bad boy is. Oh, yeah. That is pretty long. Oh, okay. We can work with that. And of course, it's got a USB plug that'll plug directly into your phone or tablet. You see there. Uh, it also has another attachment that allows you to plug that piece into here. Which then allows you to plug this into either a tablet that has this type of plug type of USB plug or a computer I might try that on the next shot let's see if we can start this on the computer and let's deal with this right now uh, take this apart and it came with this little bag here got some interesting attachments here 
Let's open this up. Let's see what this bad boy is about. Alright. Okay, for what I understand, what I'm seeing here, looks like... Okay, I'll right, move this out of the way. That's not a part. Alright, this first part... Hmm, that's curious. Hmm. I wonder what this is. You know what? It looks like a little magnet. Wait a minute, hold up. Let me try it on that. Yeah. It is definitely a magnet. That's a magnet. A little thing here with a magnet attached to it. Oh, okay. And it's got a hook. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, let me put this to you know what? Uh, I gotta confess something though. I did try this out earlier to see if this would work. And uh, what I'm showing you is basically what I learned how to learn to you know what to do with it. <laughs> so check this out. Alright, for so understand. Let me see which part I got which. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what got to show you this other part. This little thing here is like a uh, like a mirror you see that mirror there and what you do is you attach this now the camera right here you can see the camera already and those things is around the cameras the LED lights now let's say you trying to dip this down in a particular place but the particular place is kind of like L shaped you know, you put it down there and the place you're trying to look at is like L-shaped, you know. This will allow you to look to an L-shaped corner. Basically, you'll put this on. Like so. Actually, you screw it on. And now. I don't know if you can see the LED camera and everything, but that's basically. Well, to put it. To put it bluntly, it's more like a periscope. You just turn your endoscope into a little periscope. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. And what else? Another thing I was trying to show you. Let's see. Oh, not that. <laughs> put this on all right like so because it will hook on to this and you put this on like so screw it on next thing you know you're going to go down into a hole or whatever. You know, you have this at the end of it, right? And then you're trying to reach something that has a, like a metal object of some kind. Probably uh, something metal you're trying to get out of a hole and everything. You can't dip your hand in there. You can definitely use this to get down in there. And then you'll go down that hole, whatever. Just go keep going until you grab your item. And lift it out. Now, what I'm going to do next is going to be remarkable. Okay. Now, this endoscope slash boroscope, of course, has to be attached to your phone. Now, the software, for I understand, when I got the little package that came with it, it also came with like an instruction manual. And with the instruction manual, it told me basically get that to the website well what can I say my wife calls and I have to answer so alright let's get back to what we was doing <laughs> alright 
understand in order for you to use this endoscope slash boroscope to do what you want to do you gotta download well for this particular phone I have to download a um, special type of software that can actually communicate with this USB camera which is, is what it is it's basically a USB camera and the special software I had to download from the apps and app store you know Google Play App Store it's called and I'm gonna show you get it close enough so you can see it camera fire that's the software you download to use this app now as you can see it's, in, it's basically waiting for a camera to be attached and everything so let's go ahead and do that right away it's on check that out that's the actual borescope camera and I'm moving around see I'm moving it around I'm even going to point it at myself I guess I can see myself on here yep that's me right there Okay. Thanks, You're welcome. Alright. And of course that thing you see is this thing right here. You can also turn the light on on this thing. Check this out. See? I think you can see me. Let's do this. Mm. Well, that's pretty much how it works. That's how it works. So that's the app you download to work with this thing. go you can make it brighter you know with this thing here you can make it brighter or darker you know I can adjust the light on it definitely there you go that's that the next thing I'm gonna show you is basically how to install it on your computer Okay, so the next thing we want to do is take the CD that came with the um, boroscope out of the package here. Oh, well, it looks like a little, little tiny CD. Dang. Technically, it should still play. Hmm. A little CD, yes, it definitely is. Well, let's put it in the CD room drive and see what happens. I'm now going to attach this. this like so and hook this up to the computer let's see how that works out well needless to say I was disappointed that I couldn't use the CD-ROM drivers on that CD disc, CD-ROM disc, but 
Then I decided, well, let's go and plug the camera in itself. You know, plug in the endoscope camera, USB camera itself into the computer and see what happens. And sure enough, Windows started installing some drivers for it. And it's going to install under, when you look for it, look for something that says USB 2.0 camera. It's going to say something like that. If you got any application that look at that uses um, USB cameras, that's what you're looking for, a 2.0 USB camera. So that's how it installs under. And this is the current view of that camera. As you notice, it's a uh, kind of dim, but the only reason it's dim because I turned the light off on the camera itself, number one. And number two, the only light that's in this room at the moment is the light bulb that's from the ceiling, the regular old condensing light bulbs you have in your house. So just seeing it by that alone, it does pretty good low light somewhat. But now what I'm going to do is turn the light on that's inside the camera itself. I'm going to start inching it up. Now it's at its brightest setting right now. You know. And just to make sure you know that this is the real deal here, I'm just gonna jiggle the camera itself around, see? That's the real deal. And also to give you some perspective about what kind of lighting you can use this camera in, I'm gonna turn the light on light down on this camera for the moment. Oh, by the way, when you look for the camera settings, you also can modify other settings with this camera as well, as you probably will discover. Uh, especially in the camera settings for any app you're going to, when, when you look for the properties for this camera, to adjust its settings, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, and whatever. So you definitely do that too. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is turn on another light that I have in here. And it's basically lighting for videos and stuff. I'm just going to turn that on. Uh-huh. Yeah. As you can see, you pretty can see pretty good with it. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of move it around. You know that's the CD that didn't work <laughs> I'm up and close personal with it um, that's the thing we was looking at earlier and I'm just gonna kind of go like this and that's the original stuff here uh, especially this thing right here the magnet I showed earlier That's one of my uh, SD cards. <laughs> Oops. But you get the idea. Okay. I'm also gonna go around, move the camera around a little bit. All right. Now to adjust the light on this thing, and I'm I'm literally using the camera itself to show you where this is at. <laughs> Basically, oh, you know what? Let me turn the light on on it. Okay. All right. This is the thing you play with. Now, I think this is the camera button right here. You can take an instant picture or whatever. But uh, the main thing you want to concentrate on when you turn the light on. Now, right now, the camera has no light on at all. Now, now I'm going to turn the light on.
Now the light is on the camera. Now, like I said, it, this button right here, the sew button, I think that's that the one you take pictures with. And uh, uh oh. And of course, this is the thing on the side here. You move around to adjust the light. Right now I got the light on the highest setting and I'm just playing with it. But you get the idea. And also you'll plug that into that, which then will allow you to plug it into there. Well folks, that's my own experience with my endoscope slash baroscope camera. Um, you can also, well, as you already know, you can do interesting things with it, but, and when you just, when you finally get your hands on it, you'll discover some other features with it as well. As a matter of fact, I'll include a link to this, to the actual scope that I got it from, and you just go there and get your own, and you'll see what I mean. Well, thank you for watching this video, and, um, subscribe to my channel and plenty put as many likes as you can put on this video you know I appreciate every like <laughs> and feel free to leave some comments too so God bless and may you have a wonderful day